Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Life Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what is your person's biggest regret. So, what do they regret the most um, about the connection that they've shared with you, or you know, the way in which things transpired? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead here. Uh, give the cards a shuffle and let's see what messages are coming in for you. Okay. Oops, okay, I'm getting a few cards here. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups. This is someone who wishes things had gone very differently or you know, things had unfolded very differently between the two of you, okay? This person feels as though you were exactly what they wanted in life, okay? You had all, you know, the admirable traits and characteristics of a, a romantic partner, of someone that they wanted. You were like a dream come true here. You were like a wish fulfilled, a wish granted here. They regret not holding on to you much longer. They regret not staying here long enough, not giving this connection um, enough of a go here, a proper go. They also regret their bad behavior or they regret their behavior which was rooted in some sort of, in some sort of pattern, in pattern of behavior that may have jeopardized or sabotaged this connection here. They've messed up and they know they have. Okay, they've messed up and they know they have. They wish they had stayed around long enough to work on themselves and work through things. Okay, they, they regret leaving the relationship um, and not fighting for it. Okay, they also regret not being patient enough with themselves and not being patient enough with you and the fact that The fact that they couldn't admit to themselves that they had somehow, they were in the middle of a struggle here guys and they couldn't admit it to themselves. It feels like there's some sort of maybe an emotional or a, a pattern of behavior that somehow hindered this connection. It feels like it's a lost love. It, it, it's, it's keeping them very sad and it's keeping them stuck here. They regret thinking that they regret telling you that they will change, but never actually changing. Um, they they loved that you saw so much potential in them, but that they couldn't really change, you know, whether it was their history or their temperament, or um, they loved that you loved and supported them, but somehow they felt like they were not enough for you and they wish they had tried a little bit more. Look, this person may have had problems with like alcohol or addiction or were engaged in certain behaviors here and when people have such addictions oftentimes they struggle with a pain or a shame of hurting others and this is what I feel like your person is struggling with they're struggling with the fact that they've you know their behavior here has enabled hurt and pain in you Living with this regret is difficult for them, but I feel like it's healthy because they need to, you know, to make mistake, to make mistakes is human, but to constantly set that mistake on repeat, well, that's another history, you know, that's another uh, story, right? Um, they regret not finding you sooner and they regret not staying long enough or not giving this a proper go here. They regret making a lot of mistakes here as well. And they regret not speaking their truth, not being honest. They had a chance here to, to really communicate and express to you how much you mean to them. 
they feel like they didn't always tell you the truth. Okay, maybe this was someone who uh, stretched the truth or who fabricated the truth to you or who told versions of it. They regret lying to you, being dishonest with you and not telling you a truth here. They regret not making this conscious effort to do things differently because you've given them a second chance or even a third chance or even a fourth year. And they regret putting something, putting their selfish needs ahead of this connection. There was a point in the relationship where this person, uh, especially with the high priestess energy, felt very confused. And they felt, they... They regret feeling this way, even though that their feelings were true to what they were feeling. Like, um, it was true to what was going on with them internally, but they regret not making up their mind sooner about you and about this connection here as well. They have a lot of regrets here, especially the way that they've treated you and the way that something happened between you or the way that this connection he ended it it feels like the both of you got hurt in the process but they regret the way they've treated you and how everything just happened here they regret not putting you first here They regret not really committing to you and this connection, okay? Because it feels like this person, the fool's energy, they feel foolish for the way that they've acted and the way they've behaved and the way that they've treated you. Uh, they feel that they said to you that they weren't ready to settle, even though they could see, you know, a lifetime with you here. Upon reflection, this person has a lot of regrets. They do. They wish they had spoken up more. They wish that the two of you, you know, could... And maybe you did communicate, but maybe there was a lang language barrier or something here. Or like a communication, different communication styles. It just, this person feels like they, they wish they had, that the two of you spoke more about things. They saw forever with you, and I, I do think this person wanted to work on things with you with the Eight of Pentacles energy, but I'm getting that you wanted, it's not that you wanted to change them, but you wanted to, for them to become, you know, a healthy and happier version of themselves. And they regret not working on themselves for you and not working on this connection. They feel like they've given up too easily on this connection. They did. They feel like they've let you go. They feel like they've... And it's a regret, I think, that they will always hold on to. Especially with the Six of Swords energy here. For those of you that are doing long distance, or for those of you that were in a relationship or a connection with someone whom, after this ended, they moved away. This was because the person couldn't pain with the, couldn't cope with the pain couldn't cope with the constant reminder of everywhere they went you know they were reminded of you here so this person felt as if they, they had to pack up and move away here they they like they knew what the two of you built was so powerful and so strong and so um enduring but they knew that there was room for them to improve themselves and for the two of you to improve on this connection here they regret keeping you out. And I think that what I think that means is that they didn't always emotionally express themselves or they didn't always tell you what was going on with them. They kind of left you second guessing here, right? Um, also, they were, they, they were very selfish here with the time here and they were too... They feel like they were too young for you. Or did you say this, that they were too young for you? They regret not compromising with you here. 
they felt felt like they accumulated all these feelings here um, and they didn't fully express themselves and they kept some of these feelings to themselves like there were certain insecurities about them um, they were just keeping they regret keeping stuff to themselves here when they probably should have told you things that might have maybe helped the two of you work through this connection here They regret not honoring their feelings, honestly. If they could go back in time, they would change things. They would change certain experiences. They would change um, certain things that they said that they feel guilty and they feel embarrassed by. Um, they feel very motivated to go back and undo and say these things. And I feel like there was a lot of lesson learned. I know regrets, you know, oftentimes we associate regrets with a negative energy, but without, without regrets, you don't evolve. So I feel like with this person, you know, this person is able to identify their mistakes and I feel, I feel like they're trying to learn from them. There, you know, there, there comes a point where this person is now realizing that they're able to identify their flaws or their insecurities and work on them here they regret not being more forgiving here and not more and not forward with how they felt and sometimes they feel like the two of you missed or robbed each other of the opportunity to really build on this connection here some of you had a friends with benefit type of a relationship or a connection with this person right and this person I felt like started developing feelings for you, but they cut you off before they were able to identify or at the very least admit to themselves that they had the romantic feelings for you or admit to you that they had romantic feelings. This person wants to apologize or undo or unsay things here. So there is a lot of regret in their energy here, guys, a lot of remorse. I feel like they're having a hard time forgiving themselves. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Uh, for those of you interested in a personal tarot reading, please feel free to inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.